everybody! Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, it's going to be a drugstore haul slash first impressions. So if you want to know what I got and what I think about the products that I got, just keep on watching. So first up, I have the Neutrogena Sport Face Oil Free Lotion. So it's a sunscreen and it has SPF 70 plus. Um, the reason why I got this is because whenever I don't use sunscreen under my face, I always just use um, a tinted moisturizer that has SPF or like a foundation that has SPF. And it usually, usually foundation has like SPF 15 or 30. And I feel like that's not enough with the amount of sun that I'm getting every day. I get like uh, a bit of 30 minutes to an hour outside every day. Already 100 degrees outside, so yeah. When I was looking at the mirror, the mirror the other day while I was doing my makeup, I noticed sunspots on my face, and I know hindi na siya unless you get it like burned or something like that. And I know it count, it costs like thousands of dollars, and I just want to prevent that from happening. And I should have done this a bajillion times ago, but again, I was too lazy to put on sunscreen before my foundation, like in the morning, getting ready. Shempre ang toka pa pero gusto mo maayos mo, and usually you skip important things and that's like taking care of your skin enough of the babbling anyway I got the Neutrogena sport face foundation um, foundation Shempre makeup on it Neutrogena sport face sunscreen the reason why I use I like this one is it's perfect for under the makeup because it doesn't have a scent which is good that sunscreen scent so I hate ko yon. I mean merong onte pero hindi siya sobrang lala na parang oh me sunscreen ka sa face mo and it's oil free, so for sure, hindi mago oil up yung face ko. And when I put my um, makeup on, it seems it's seamless. Hindi niya, it doesn't affect my makeup that much. Siguro magkahar lang ng white cast kasi sunscreen nga siya. But then, mas kaya ko nati isin yun kesa magkarun ako ng sunspots. Since I didn't get a primer, I'm just using my NYX Angel Veil Primer. And I also didn't get any eyeshadow, so let me just do my eyeshadow real quickly. I ran out of my Anastasia Brow Wiz and my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I wanted to try something else, but still a pencil, because I need a pencil. Okay, I know I already have my um, e.l.f. eyebrow kit, but then on days that I'm rushing, I don't like to use brush pa tapos ididip ko pa doon tas you know ang dami pang process eh so pag nagmamadali ako what I like to use is just a brow pencil with a spoolie on the other end so I got this one this one is from L'Oreal so it's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer this one is in the shade Light Brunette just because I recently got my hair colored syempre pag um, eyebrows you want to go two shades lighter or a shade lighter than your hair color if you have dark hair yeah, let's try this one out. So again, it has a spoolie on one side and the pencil on the other end. So this is how much product it has. This one is, I believe, I got this from CVS. It's $9.99. But if you buy this at Target or Walmart, I believe it's like $7.99. So there are some products na mas mura sa CVS because they always have... So it's na. combs my brow pretty well. It's comparable to the spoolie of yung sa Anastasia, which is good. I like it when I get to use like the total, all everything sa product. Kasi usually sa mga eyebrow kit, ganyan yung kasama yung brush, hindi mo naman siya magagamit kasi either unliit niya or it doesn't perform as well. So now let's try the pencil. I like how thin it is. It really helps me get into those sparse areas without really putting too much product on my brows. So it makes it look more natural. In kasi yung ayo ko, sometimes meron makapal yung pencil niya. So pag lagay mo, parang ang kapal niya agad, parang din din rowing talaga yung eyebrows. Eh syempre hindi naman natin gusto yun. What we like is Shempre fuller eyebrows, but then it looks natural lang. The only thing that makes this one different from the Anastasia one, I feel like yung Anastasia brow is parang magel yung formula niya na that when you apply the product on your brows, it helps it parang may wax effect na din siya. So it's stay na siya na ganon kung paganon mo siya din raw. Ito hindi masyado. What I like then about the pencil kasi it is is that it gives you so much control as to where you'll apply it on your brow. So, pag gusto mo lang ayusin yung shape, mas madali din siya. Ang struggle lang is that 
if you don't have a light hand, you'll apply more product na magmumukha talaga siya drawing. And then going back with the spoolie, you just, you just want to brush that up. So here's what we have for the eyebrows. Honestly, I like it. For now, what I can say is that it works um, for $7.99. It gives you nice, natural looking brows. I mean, it's not comparable just because it ha doesn't have that um, gel effect that it makes you... Someone's calling. Anyway, going back, so I like it for $7.99. It's a good product, it's a good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wisp, but you do have to apply a brow brow gel or brow mascara right after para to help your brow stay in place the whole day. I like the spoolie that it comes with it and I like the thinness, the thinness of the pencil as well and the shade that I got. So it gave my brows that natural look. Next up is foundation. So for foundation, I got the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. This is in the shade beige. I already used this one, but I haven't tried it for the whole day. It says medium to full coverage, smooth, long-wearing, flawless-looking finish. The shade, I got the perfect shade, which is beige. Usually, I'm like sun beige, caramel beige. You may have a kind of beige because beige, beige alone is too light for me. So, yeah, surprisingly for this one, sakto na yung beige for me. And with its claim that it's illuminating, it is. As in, kahit... Hindi ka na mag highlighter, you can get away with it. So I also got the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I also got the Pro Glow Foundation, but then when I used it, it didn't work for me at all. As in, I haven't left my house. Nag start na siyang matanggal sa face ko, sobrang oily na ng face ko, which I guess. For summer, hindi siya mag work out for me even though I have dry combination skin. Maybe for winter, it would work out. But I know a lot of people na kahit summer ginagamit nila yun because it gives the face a natural glow. But for me, it really didn't work out. Maybe it's just my skin, I don't know. And that is why I picked up the Total Cover and the Pro Matte Foundation. So for today, I'll be using the... Which one kaya? So since it is kind of warm outside... Alexa, what's the weather today? So since high of 88 lang naman today, it's not 100 degrees out, I'll be just be using the Total Cover Foundation. So it has a, it says that it has a natural finish and it has, it can wear, oh, you can wear it, it has up to 24 hours of wear and it has high coverage. So, oh, so it's, it has a moussey texture. So ayan siya. Let me get the Pro Matte then. So with the Pro Matte naman, it's more watery. Not sure if you can see that. So this is this one is the total cover, and this this one is the pro matte. Again, different yung shade niya, kasi ito natural beige. Yung isa is, and this one is buff beige, which I thought was more of my skin tone, but we'll see. So I'll just be using a damp beauty blender to apply that. Ay, ang dark. Okay, so this one is way too dark for my skin. So maybe I'll just use the Pro Matte Foundation for today. So it applies nicely naman. Ang bilis niya. This one is like more of a full coverage foundation talaga. Oh, so the claims of the... Before I forget, the claims of the Pro Matte one is that... So finish is demi-matte or semi-matte. And then it has 24-hour wear as well. Medium coverage and air light texture. Um, hindi pa ako tapos mag-apply. But then, kitang-kita ko na na... It does give you full coverage. So let's go back to the claim. Finish, demi matte or semi matte. Yeah, it is matte. So check. Wear 24 hours and have to try that uh, the whole day. Are you seeing that? hair go. And then the coverage medium. I can say yes, it does give you medium coverage. And I feel like you can build it up to full coverage pa. With the coverage that it gives my face, I feel like papa sa na siya as a high end foundation. I mean, for $12.99, so I got this one at Ulta for $12.99, but they have buy one get one 50% off and the $3.50 coupon, which rang up to around 8 bucks na lang siya when I got it from Ulta. And for $8, with the coverage that it gives your face, wow. If you're looking for a foundation that you can use for the summer, I'd go for this one. For $8, when you use all the coupons and you save, it's $8, but when you don't, it's $12.99. A bit pricey for a drugstore because I know the Fit Me, which I love, is around $7 or $8 lang. And this one is $13, so that's around 
do my math. 700, 600 to 5, 700 if you buy it in Manila, siguro. I'm not so sure, but I know that they released it nila to don. For concealer, I've been hearing so much good reviews about this one. The LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. So this one is, is in the shade Pure Beige. So I hope that I got the right shade. So it has a brush tip, so you, and a squeezy tube and a brush tip. So let's try it. So, so that's good. The may pang apply na manasha. So I'll be using my beauty blender to blend in my concealer. Oh, okay, it's nice then. I like the texture. It's not too heavy and too moussey. I think parang it's similar to my Fit Me. Parang light lang siya, pero wow, it gives you coverage as well. And it's kind of illuminating, which is nice for highlighting and concealing. It concealed my under eye circles and then it did a good job naman highlighting because it's illuminating for me ha it's illuminating nothing much i like it it's not too sticky not too heavy but it gives you like the coverage that you need because now it's a squeezy tube you can get the most product out of it so now i'm just going to set my face with the rimmel stay matte powder so if you watched my vlog, I recently went to TJ Maxx and I scored a few makeup items for a pretty good deal. So the first one that I got was this um, trio. It came in a, like, a value set. So it came with this one. So it's a Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. So it comes with a pencil on one side. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of mas matabá siya. Okay. So it's kind of um, thicker than the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I haven't tried this one. I have yet to try it. And on the other side, it comes with a powder. Oh! And it comes with a powder on the other side. It also came with the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. So this is what it looks like. It has that ball point. And lastly, it also came with a pair of teasers. With these three products, how much did it cost? It only cost $3. And one of the best deals that I got during my shopping trip was this one. So this is the Pixie Book of Beauty Bronze Textures and Natural Warm. If you get this from Target, it will cost you around $24. And guess how much I got this for? Only 5 bucks. It's $4.99 plus tax. So around $5, $6. It comes with 6 bronzers. So it has matte bronzers on this side and then more illuminating bronzers on this side so it comes with different shades as well the formula is nice it's a bit but it's buttery swatch I'm sorry it's not powdery which is nice so buttery and not powdery so when you swatch it it's pigmented so for today I'll be using this bronzer right here So the verdict, if I were to purchase this for full price, I'm not sure if I will get it. But since it was like $5 at TJ Maxx, I went ahead and got it. It's There's nothing too special about it. It's just your regular bronzer. And I know you will be able to find um, a lot of other bronzers that are that is comparable to the shades in here if you're not gonna use everything. $24 is a bit too much. But since I got it for like $5, it's a good deal and I'm happy about it, but again, if it's full price, I wouldn't purchase it. Nothing too special, no. It's not something like, wow, wow, magaganan ka. Good formula, good price for $5, of course, and good shades. That's all I can say about it. So that is everything that I got from my drugstore haul. I'll finish the rest of my makeup and yeah. So that is everything that I got from the drugstore. I'll be sure to put the links of the products down in the description bar. And if you like drugstore makeup, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!